you want if you if you think society is in a declining state it can all be attributed to the video stores yes i know we don't need physical media anymore but it's not about the media it's about the experience i mean can you think of something better than trying to decide what to do you know what are we going to do tonight whether it's your family you're on a date what do you do you go to the video store because now you got a little event before the movie right so you got uh walking figuring walking around looking at all the releases they sold candy and snacks and you check out show your little card i mean it was a whole event steve weiner from getrubix.com and today we're gonna start our first in a i don't know how many parts a series about the microsoft raf and intune now i started this apparently over a year and a half ago something like that and now that people are watching the channel some folks found it and that's when I, I, you know, didn't really have the setup, didn't have it down pat. So I figured, you know what, let's go through it. Let's start fresh. Things change. Um, and we got a lot more to talk about now. So enjoy. I mean, take me back to the video store. You know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so to get started, we have to understand what is the Microsoft Graph, right? So if, obviously if you're familiar, you don't need that. But if you're not... Uh, the best way I can ex explain it is it's just a giant API from this one endpoint, graph.microsoft.com, that it's a way to access everything you have in your Microsoft tenant. Devices, users, uh, groups, teams, all the info on those too. And you've seen us use examples of this in our migration script and other solutions I've provided. Um, so, you know, for example, if, if you know, you don't want to hey, let's, here let's do this so if i go to intune and i want to click on devices windows devices and i want to see all my devices something as simple as that and i want to get this device right here you know how do i do that whether i automate it or I do it from a PowerShell script without logging into this portal and do it. And that's what the graph allows us to do. So the best way to get started with it is to go to the graph explorer, right? Uh, the URL developer.microsoft.com. Uh, I'll give you that. I'll put this in the link below, right? So you just come up here, log into. So this is like a nice middle ground. It allows you to play with uh, these calls we make, but still have some kind of GUI to guide you. So let's get started with this, right? To get started, you're going to sign in up here on the right. I'm going to use my Steve capacity credentials. This is your first time signing in. It's going to ask you to consent to permissions. Um, everything in the graph uh, is permission based. So you'll only be able to see the things that you have permission to. I recommend if you're getting started, especially in your own test tenant, log in as a GA. That gives you the opportunity to accept the permissions for the things you're querying um, and wait till later until you have a better understanding of what different calls need to get more specific with the permissions. Um, once you're logged in, the second thing you're going to do is flip the version from 1.0 to beta. I like beta. There are more things available for the things uh, I do and a lot of solutions you've seen. We use beta. Um, things tend to work a little better for me, so I'm just going to recommend that. Now, as far as how it works and what does it mean to call an endpoint, so uh, if you're logged in and you make this get call, um, the first thing I'm going to type is users, right? Makes sense. Run query. Now, here's the thing. If you get some kind of an error and you don't get data back on here, you see it says, OK, 200. 200 is, hey, this worked. You authenticated. Your request was valid. You requested to get all users and here's that data. And this is a massive amount of data down here. But if you don't get that, you're going to click modify permissions and it'll let you know what you need, um, what you've consented to, what you haven't consented to. And this is where you can just um, go ahead and allow those permissions. Alternatively, you can click on your picture yourself here, your Rick picture, and just click consent to permissions and add permissions that way. Kind of like the app branch, right? So that makes sense. But anyway, let's get back to the request. So there's a ton of data here, right? Um, good way to look at all this data. Here, let me open up uh, VS Code. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new XML file and I'm gonna paste this in. Actually, it's JSON, it's not XML. 
That's that's my bad. <laughs> okay, so what is all this? This is let's look. This is 700 lines of code, right? And and what is this I copied from the graph data? This is user data. This is a user. All this data represents everything you would see if we were to go back to Entra users, all users, and I were to go ahead and click on Jesse. And all that data Microsoft takes every time, see you click here, and the first thing you're gonna look at is this GUID AE26AF5. So if we look here, all the way to the top, look at that AE26AF5. So that is the GUID it got. It just takes all that data and puts it in all these pretty you know, buttons and tabs you can click on. But if you're just looking to interact with the raw data, this is it. You can see we have Zmail address. We have um, the security identifier, but we're specifically trying to talk about Intune. So in order to understand you know, how we get around from here, because it's just this, this graph.microsoft.com is how we're gonna get to everything. Um, we are going to go to device management slash well let's talk about device management first device management is you guessed it it's intune so once you go over to device management you are in this world so if i want to see um all devices these are managed devices so i'm actually going to head over to the manage devices node and run the query and this is the equivalent of all my intune devices so if Let's scroll through some of this data. Um, you can see the ID of the object, device name, AP08842. Actually, if we take that name and go look for it, this guy right here, the ID is 95 uh, EB, 95 EB. So this is the this is gonna give me that same data. Um, the OS, the management agent, the email address it's associated with, what's the enrollment type, Azure AD, right? So um, this is gonna give me everything I wanna know about it and I can interact with all this. So if for some reason I just wanted to, here, great example. Um, this is the serial number of the device, right? So if we back up a second and look at our migration script, Let's go ahead and open that up. We have an area where we take the serial number of the device and we invoke, right? We basically invoke a query that calls, this should look familiar now, device management. Uh, where is it here? Yeah, device management, manage devices. And we filter for a serial number that matches that serial number. And that's where it's getting it from. It's literally saying, okay, I have this serial number here. Let me go through all these devices and find a device with that serial number. And then it will say, found it. It is the ID of this, right? And this is a great way to, to interact with it. So if I just want to see information on one device, I can take a look at my, my graph, right? All my list of stuff. So right here, here we go. We have, um, M3, let's take this device for example. So I can click hardware and I can see the Intune device ID up here. And I can take that and copy that. And I can simply go back to the Explorer and at the end of manage devices, I can forward slash paste. Okay, so we pasted that in and query. And it's just, you can see now, it's just gonna pull the one piece back. So you see there's much less here. So it's just one device it's giving me now. Okay, so that was just a quick uh, getting started. Um, so if you're already familiar, might not be a lot here for you. Hopefully, you know, as we get to part two and three, there'll be more. But I think it's good for, uh, if you're not familiar with the graph, understanding what it is, how to start looking at it and how it interacts and has a lot of parallels between the things you do in your, your Microsoft admin consoles today and what you can just get from the raw data. See you next time. Five, four, three, two.